Hi, welcome to Wine, Songs, and Good Vibes. I'm here with my friend Beverly Meyer. Hi. Hi, and she is also known as the Music Lady. True. And uh, she plays all around Michigan, Southeast Michigan, and where else do you do you play as the Music Lady? Uh, I've even gone to Ohio. Wow. Yes, and uh, do a lot of stuff in mostly Southeast Michigan, but I'm all over the state. Okay, so, so um, she does a lot of uh, children's music. And you can find uh, Beverly's music on her website, which is... BeverlyTheMusicLady.com Okay, BeverlyTheMusicLady.com. That's cool. <laughs> but I don't even have to figure out it's how to spell easy. Liar. It's no, it's no, it's no. like the store, but yeah, it's no, not, I yeah. don't smell like the store, actually. Yeah. So. <laughs> M-E-Y-E-R. That's it. Yeah, so, um, okay, so we're here with Beverly today, and I am Angela Predom. I'm a singer-songwriter. So, Beverly does a lot of kids' music, but she also does grown-up music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, when we have a wine show, we're probably going to do grown-up music. Yeah. So, um, today, so, uh, first thing we'll talk about is our wine today. This is um, from St. Julian, uh, St. Julian Winery in Paw Paw, Michigan. And this is a non-alcoholic, and this one is um, Raspberry Sparkling Spumante. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll show you that again. Raspberry Sparkling Spumante from St. Julian. It's, it's good. It's great. So, today, um, our theme is Write Your Own Story. So, um, we have a lot of different things to talk about with this theme. So, um, and one of the themes that I want to tie into the wine is write your own story about, you know, do what you want to do. I want to encourage people to, like, if you don't feel like drinking, um, don't, of course, you know. I think we've all been in those situations where there's, like, social pressure to drink and, um, uh, you know, you, you definitely don't feel pressured by anybody and just do your own thing, write your own story and, you know, of course, we all feel labeled sometimes, so I think it's important to not become what people label you, write your own story. Um, like, Beverly is not only a children's music performer, she also is doing, you know, singer-songwriter, adult music, all ages. Really, I should call that all ages. Yeah. I call it my music all ages. Yeah, yeah. I'm not it swearing, is. Really you know? No, exactly. <laughs> it's not like it's rap or something. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> appeals to everyone and you know there's even some nice rap nowadays <laughs> <laughs> positive clean rap it exists thank goodness <laughs> yeah i couldn't really name anybody no i don't maybe know maybe macklemore not... i think that macklemore is positive yeah i'll just take your word for it yeah. i know nothing about it <laughs> yeah um so let me talk a little bit about this winery saint julian um so what's interesting about saint julian is it is uh, you know, by there's there's different standards for this, but by some standards, they are the oldest winery in Michigan. Um, so Mariano Meconi was his name, the founder, mm. and he was an Italian immigrant, and he uh, began a winery in Ontario, actually. Ah. So he started in Ontario because there was in 1921, so there was prohibition. Right. So he's like, well, I'm gonna go where they're not worried about that. You know? Right. So um, so then after Prohibition, he brought it over to Michigan, got a vineyard, bought some property um, in, you know, western Michigan, Paw Paw area, which is over toward Lake Michigan. Southwestern Michigan, yeah. Yeah, done, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is, I guess, a really good place for growing grapes. Yeah. So, um, so anyways, then in 1936, they renamed it um, St. Julian. But anyway, so so this winery and it's been in the same family for four generations. Um, so and it's very established. They do they do a lot of um, different wines and different um, non-alcoholic wines. I they make over a hundred different um, products at St. Julian, and they have six locations, tasting rooms around. Like, have you ever seen one? Do you know where any of them are? I do not. Well, when I say, you're probably gonna be like, oh yeah. Yeah. So there's one um, in Frankenmuth. Oh. There's one in Frankenmuth. Um, there's a couple around Metro Detroit. Um, but anyways, there's six around the state. And um, the main one, where you know, which is near the vineyard and everything, is in Pawpaw. 
So, um, and they're all tasting rooms, so you can go in and taste their wines, and they've won some awards and stuff like that. So, okay, um, okay. so next we are on to our song. Ooh, so you want right to tell us it. about it? Sure. Tell, me, tell us about it first. Well, you were talking about, uh, you know, writing your own story, and this is kind of um, on that theme, I guess. Um, it's called New Voice. So I was a really um, sensitive child, shall I say? And where we are. Us, <laughs> you know, yeah, and I, you know, because and I heard the world differently and reacted to the world differently, and um, my family thought no fault of their own this is just the way that they were um let's tease her a little bit and that'll roughen her up a little bit so oh, she's not no. quite so sensitive <laughs> so that really um just led to me not feeling very good about myself at times when i was feeling bad the little words in my head were not positive right so i've been working very hard as an adult to redo that track in my head uh, give myself, you know, attaboys when I need them, and mm -hmm. and and acknowledge that I do have worth and you know, all those things that I was feeling I didn't have, and this song kind of talks about that. I think that's awesome. And when <laughs> when I heard this song at our song reading group, I was like, I love that. Yeah, I love what it's saying. I mean, I am all about that stuff. Well, you know, you know I I, yeah. I just want to be a peaceful human being, so this really helped to. Uh, and music is, you know, can be very th therapeutic for me. I write a lot of stuff, stuff that people never hear that just helps me get through whatever it is, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they make it into a song, but <laughs> sometimes they're just for the moment, you know. So this is called New Voice. Sure got 
a treat with that, huh? Oh, Isn't thanks. she fabulous? <laughs> Sheesh. Thanks. You know, yeah, I, I love that song. And I did this you. theme of this show, um, Write Your Own Story, around that song. Well, thank because you. Because I thought that what it's saying is so important. Yeah. Because, I mean, honestly, who doesn't, who doesn't relate to that? I hope. I hope you know, so. I yeah. mean, I honestly, I don't know anybody that had a really healthy upbringing. Well, how can you? I mean, it's, I, it, I nobody has a perfect. No, yeah. nobody does. And it, and yeah. and the the key to finding peace in your life is learning how to sift through all that. You know, yeah. and how to you know just find ways to deal with the things that may not have been good and strengths and find the strengths and and just yeah. go with it. So. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, and so we were talking earlier about how we're we're writing our own stories with our careers. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And, yeah, yeah, our own path. You know. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of carving our own path. Each of us, you know, <laughs> differently. Like, like you're like. Can you explain how you're carving sure. your own path or how you have? So, well, uh, the music lady um, came from. I was a musician first, and then uh, tried doing the cover band thing. Really didn't like that a lot, and. Um, met my husband and he said what else would you like to do I said I'd really like to work with kids so I went back to school and um, got my education in early childhood and it was there I brought my guitar in when I was uh, teaching and could see the instant the kids were like instantly re reacting to the music and I went "Ooh, I like this a lot <laughs> so it took me about five years to get my guts up to say I yeah. just like to be the music lady, and I I was at a preschool that I was able to visit all the classrooms and be their music lady uh, as well as oh, a teacher. Like as part of as your part it was part it was school. just part of what I did. Okay, I got an extra quarter to do that, so that was really yeah. nice. Yeah, it was really nice. So anyway, um, I did that, and then wanted to branch off on my own and see if I could do it. And 23 years later, I'm still. The music lady so it's been a fantastic journey of I have uh, about 30 preschools that I go to visit and I'm their music lady once a month and then I do teacher trainings to try and encourage teachers to sing because I believe it's the best teaching tool you can have and um, no matter what you sound like you know that's that's not the point it's that you know, kids aren't. They're not. They really mom. don't care, and they just they, they, they just see the ear, right? yeah. They just <laughs> see the excitement in your face, yeah. and if you are enthusiastic about saying everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, then they're gonna sit down and have a seat or be happy about it. You know. Yeah. So um, I do a lot of trainings, and then I also do a lot of concerts in the park and those kinds of family concerts and uh, the libraries. Summer reading program for the libraries. I'm just about to finish up that for August this year, but it's that has been a, that that's where I do a lot of my traveling is to go visit libraries. So yeah, you're a, a busy fun. lady. Oh, yeah, I asked her to be on this show, and she's like, I got one Wednesday. <laughs> it's like, Sorry. All right, we'll make it work. <laughs> that's great. I yeah, mean, it's great I'm, that, that I you am that grateful. Busy. I am grateful. It's I never imagined a that it would last as long, and b that people still like me, and <laughs> that. <laughs> and, and that it would, you know, keep morphing into new and exciting yeah. ideas. I'm not doing the same thing every day. And, and okay. the, I have another trotting of the path is that the reason that I got into songwriting is that about 10 years ago, this thing that I created was starting to get on my nerves because, oh, yeah, because the wheels on the bus was not satisfying my musical soul. I was not pushing myself musically at all. And I really was like, what else can I do? And I met Dan Hazlett, and he invited me to a Song Anon uh, showcase. Oh. And he was hosting that year. Yeah. And I was so excited because there was all levels of folks. And like Annie Caps was performing that night, and Sue Norman was performing so that, that night. opened your eyes to the well local, it was just there was it was just like there was so and... much there was so much variety there and so much support for everybody no matter what your skill level was mm -hmm. you know and I was like there's a place for here me for me somewhere and I I know that I can grow here and that was almost 10 years ago now wow and I've been 
going strong ever since. You know, and yeah, that's, that's great. So I, I've been writing for a long time, and now I'm finally starting to record these songs. Thank goodness. So, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I've um, kind of carved my own path. I've kind of written my own story by um, I love to write and I love to record, and um, I, I, you know, started sending my music out there for music licensing back when that started to be a thing. In you know mid 2000s late 2000s well my first original music was out um, the very very end of 2008 so um, that's, in that's when I met you and that was when I first started yeah and I started summer. sending things out there for licensing and they they got licensed nice. and it's like wow that's great yeah so I just made more music and sent it off for music licensing and um, Nobody else that I knew around here was doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then they're all like, wow, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? And I just felt like, well, that's kind of like all I'm doing, you know. I mean, because you only have so much time and focus. It's like, you know, booking gigs is like sales, right? I <laughs> mean, it's like a full, it's a full-time job. It it's is. like you're yes. calling and following up yeah. and you get turned down, you get ignored, you got to call people back right. and you're selling yourself. And back then it was like, you had to make these physical press kits, yeah, you know, and yeah. have a CD and a photo in right, there and everything. Right, right, right. So it was hugely time consuming. And, you know, so I didn't spend a lot of time pursuing local gigs. Sure. And I spent my time pursuing licensing. So I just nice. kind of went on a different path. Can I brag on you a little bit? Can I brag on So did you had Kathy here for the last show that you yeah. did. And she heard Kathy you at, Leland. yeah, she heard you at Meyer. Is that true? She heard your song? Oh, no, it's a different Kathy. Oh, it's a different Kathy. <laughs> but still, somebody heard yeah, you at Meyer. Yeah, yeah, my friend Kathy Schwann. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a different Kathy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, our friend Kathy lives in Ann Arbor. <laughs> but I don't know, if, I don't know if, uh, if our friend Kathy Wheeler would know the song. But, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I had given a CD to, this is like one of my one of my best friends for like over 20 years, you know, and uh, and she, she had known the song and she knew my voice and... And she texted me. I would be able me. to pick it out. I heard it on DET. I heard you on DET oh, uh, that's cool. about a year ago. And I'm like, I know that voice. <laughs> yeah, that's here. great. And yeah, I, sometimes I've gotten that. You know, the craziest thing. And see, if people don't tell me, I wouldn't even know. Yeah. I didn't. I, I don't know how long it's been playing at Meyer, my right. song. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know how long it's been playing. That song was out in um, 2012 as a wow. single. And then on my album in 2013. Okay. Um. So I don't know how long it's been in my ear. I don't think real long. I think I would have heard about it. But um Still nice. okay, so check this out. So my sister's friend, um, Lisa, she I'll tag you Lisa, hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she she was living in China for a long time because her husband was with the auto companies sure. and stuff. Yeah. And um and she heard a little snippet of one of my songs in a in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> I mean, it was like it was like eight seconds or something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it was just like this little tiny bit. And however long it was, I think it was so short that they didn't need to report it for royalties. Oh. So I never even knew about it. Okay. Because I, I think if it's short enough, it was like it's somebody like was in the car. eight measures or something. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody yeah. was in the car and it was the music it was on and it was one of my songs and then it was gone. <laughs> and I was like, wow. So, so she, she heard that from China. Oh, my China. God. And then I found out. I'm like. Cool. That's very cool. That's very <laughs> yeah, cool. That's great. And you, you've had a song in a Fiat commercial over in what country? Um, that was Slovenia. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I think that's where Ludi's from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hey, Ludi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been a fun journey. So, yeah, the point is write your own story. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no need to do what everybody, what, what you think people think you should be doing, you know, because you know within what's right. And mm -hmm. you know what? That's usually the most successful. When you feel it and you do it, you do what you want to do, that's, you know, it ends up being most successful. I think so. So, okay, so for our good, that could be a good vibe thing. I thought so. Yeah, I, I have so. another one too, though. Okay. So, um, we usually have a little positive story, positive news. So I thought it was so cool that um, I've read this year that um, it's a growing trend of um, low alcohol and no alcohol wines. And that's a thing. And there's like wineries in Napa Valley that are doing this. And um, so it's a growing trend because, you know, it's health, a healthy lifestyle. And, you know, when you're somewhere and somebody, you know, and you're only going to be there for a little bit. Like, let's say you go to lunch or something. And it's the middle of the day. And. 
And, and it's like, you know, you don't always want to have alcohol. You know, you might want to have a nice non-alcoholic wine or something. So um, a lot of people are interested in that, and it's really a growing trend. And there's a lot of brands of wine that are doing it, you know, like the St. Julian. And um, there's many other ones, and there's more all the time. So I think that's wonderful, you know, because um, that's a personal decision. You know, drinking, drinking or not drinking is a very personal decision. And it's great when there's a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right, so let's hear about your upcoming stuff. Well, like Kathy Whelan, that was on a couple weeks ago, I'm going to be a part of that Barefoot Production Theater. The song, the Women of Song and On okay. are going to be doing a benefit concert on Saturday. Tickets are still available. At, um, I think you can go to their website, which I think is justgobarefoot.com. Isn't that cute? Oh, like that's it. good. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing you remember that. So. Uh, you know, I try. So, and <laughs> then um, I will also next Tuesday be at the Battle Creek Library for the summer reading program. And uh, I'll be at the Connolly Branch in Detroit in, on a Thursday, coming soon. <laughs> Connolly Branch of Detroit Public Library? Detroit, yes, yes. And okay. that, that'll be my final um, summer reading program concert this this year. So. Great. Coming up to, rolling up to the school year now. So Okay, well, yeah, I think that this concert um, in, in Livonia, the mm -hmm. Bear, Go, Just Go Barefoot mm -hmm. Productions one, mm -hmm. that's the Women of Songanon. Women of Songanon. And how many, do you know about how many of you I guys I think we performing? have at least, well, I think there's 10 performers, and then we have a couple of others that are adding harmony and stuff, you know, helping out with songs throughout. Okay. So. I know Karen Goff will be there to sing some harmony as she loves to do and That's other great. folks as well. So um, come check it out. You can try songwriters, is it songman or songwritersanonymous.org? I don't remember which one our website is. I, I hate to say yeah. this, but I didn't even know they had a website. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got a website. I know that's a Facebook group. Too. Yeah, and a Facebook yeah. group. And um, But check out our uh, one night only. At Women of Song. Women of Song. Song, song and it's a benefit concert for... Uh, Barefoot Productions Theater in uh, in Livonia. Try and get them a little extra boost. Yeah. And uh, work together with them. So we're looking forward to it's our first collaboration with them. So we're looking forward to hopefully doing more. Okay, so. great. Well, thanks so much for coming, Beverly. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, you can find her music at Beverly the, the music, music Lady. Lady. Beverly the music Lady dot com. That's right? right. I remember that. Hey. I'm proud good. Of <laughs> All right, well, uh, next week, so uh, next week, my friend Colleen Gleason will be joining me, and uh, she is an author. She's a New York Times bestselling author. She's written yeah. all kinds of amazing novels. Um, she's written a lot of historical novels. She's written uh, vampire things. Um, I know she has some supernatural stuff. Um, in addition to vampires. So, <laughs> um, but she has, you know, amazing portfolio. It's probably not the right word. What would be the right that's word right for a writer? Yeah, that sounds right. Repertoire? To me. I mean, that sounds musical that's more too. more musical. But portfolio, I think. She's got right. a bunch of books. <laughs> yeah. So that's Colleen Gleason, and she will be with me uh, next Wednesday night, August 14th, right here in my home studio. So, a cozy um, place. Yeah, like I am singer songwriter Angela Predom, and you can um, find information about me in the notes uh, below. And also, we will put links to Beverly Meyer and her Facebook page and her website and everything too. And also for St. Julian wines. So, thanks a lot. I'll see you next week.